We live in North America and we're probably exposed to over 70,000 human created chemicals that have never existed on the planet, the vast majority of which have never ever been tested for their long-term toxicity on human beings. You know, when we're eating conventional produce, we are eating a lot of pesticides along with that. This creates a body burden, and this intensive accumulation of toxins in our bodies is, you know, being directly linked to certain types of cancers. Fertilizers, I think, are a very, very good example of how humans are always trying to pump up nature on steroids. We want farmers' fields to yield more and more, but the ramifications extend far beyond a farmer's field. My name is Tom Zaki. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of TerraCycle. We produce organic fertilizer that help plants grow, and our products are all made from waste and packaged in waste. TerraCycle is now North America's biggest organic fertilizer company, and that's just super exciting. By feeding the earth with organic fertilizers, you're gonna grow better organic food, and when you eat that, you're gonna feel better. One of the exciting things and challenges here at TerraCycle is that we have millions and millions of worms producing our products, and they just create so much worm poop for us, which is the basis of our business. Everything has a huge amount of worm poop in it, and it's just the best fertilizer ever. Terra is Latin for Earth, and cycle is really the whole cycle, which is something we're trying to complete. And what our products try to do is find uses for garbage, because that in, you know, in humanity is the end of the cycle. So, TerraCycle. Ideally, if we find enough uses for garbage, we can actually eliminate the entire idea of garbage. And what we do is we start with organic waste, uh, things like green waste, so vegetable clippings, anything that's a byproduct of food processing. We also use manures, more brown waste, so cow manure, pig manure. And then we have to add a carbon source, which is usually a paper waste, so all the short fibers that can't be recycled. And those three components mix together to create fantastic worm food. The next part is really to load the waste material into, this is our worm poop system. The waste material comes up into the center trough up here and spreads down the shaft down here. And in essence, the worms all live around this area. Waste material comes in here, and what falls off the end is finished worm poop. So we took the worm poop we made and figured out a way to liquefy it. These worms produce enough poop to match their body weight every day. The other exciting thing is they double in population every 90 days. So they poop a lot and they multiply a lot. So I think they have a really good time. There's a lot of problems with the way chemical fertilizer is made right now. The contents are just three chemicals, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which is also derived from just petroleum. There's nothing organic in it, there's nothing living in it, and that's what we provide compared to what just a chemical fertilizer does. And to use it, you just take it and you just spray the leaves like this, and it's just, you'll get great growth, and all organically and naturally. I'm Dr. Joe Willis. I'm director of plant research for TerraCycle. Now, believe it or not, these lettuce plants are all exactly the same age. The only difference being, these were lettuce plants grown in TerraCycle's potting mix. These were plants grown in other commercially available potting mixes. You can see the real difference that having those microorganisms in there help the plants to more efficiently utilize what nutrients are available. How's it going over here? What are we doing, 20 ounce? I think the most important part about TerraCycle is that we provide the most eco-friendly products. The package itself are reused soda bottles. 
by packaging in used soda bottles. You get different bottles. This is an old Coke bottle. This is an old Pepsi bottle. So we're the only product in the world where every bottle is really different. And even these tops are leftovers from big companies. So they'll change all the time. I think, you know, everyone's very aware now the environment is changing, that global warming is real. These are the type of businesses that will actually move us away from an economy that's dependent on oil and just polluting the environment to actually a green economy.